the hiccups here. I'm going to minimize Skype, close down this one, minimize this, and I'm going to enter the game. And wait a little bit. So I will be right in the earshot, uh, fiddling with some coffee stuff, so let me know when uh, when the stuff is ready. My stream is going live. I just need to grab my laptop quickly. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm going to open up it, open it up on your stream. And I'm going to have my chat popped out, I think. My screen resolution is wrong. Yep, that's what it told me as well. Um. <laughs> okay, hang on. Why is my bloody thing so small? <laughs> <laughs> you heard. Uh, okay, let's try that. Okay, yes, that has improved it significantly. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's do this. I am ready when you are, my friend. I'm in. Okay. We're just going to play a versus game, yeah? Oh, I think so. The same type that... Uh Also, can I, uh, will I be able to, will I be able to, uh, click here, or will I be able to use the deck that I, uh, put together against the NPC? Uh, yes. Oh, that's sealed. We can do sealed if you like. I think I've got a sealed deck. Um, let me go back and see if this is possible. Okay. Mm, right, sealed play. You don't have a valid deck for multiplayer sealed play. All right, give me a second. I think I can throw one together. Okay. Sealed is a new game mode. Oh, it hasn't got my. Uh, I'll disable the tool. Yes, I want to skip the tutorial. I'm a goddamn magic <laughs> ninja. Unwrap all. What is this shenanigans? Come on now. Right. <laughs> Why? 
colourless and uh, let's go green. Okay. The green one. Mm. Onward! Oh god, it's already started. <laughs> Here we go again. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I yeah okay. I should be able to put together a pretty uh, formidable deck here. Uh, you're a two two for two, and you get vigilance. Okay. Spider. Oh yeah, we got two pacifisms. Everything is good with the world. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, put a plus one, plus one counter on target beast creature you control. That only matters if we've got beast creatures. Any of you cast a white spell? Yeah. Oh, conform, plus three, plus three, yeah. Sad passage, no. Destroy target artifact, no. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got two beasts, so I will be bringing them in. Mm. Until end of turn, creatures you control grand trample and get plus X plus X, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. That's kind of powerful. Uh, seven, seven for trample. Okay, right, where was that beast master? Yep. Advocate of the Beast, and so 23 cards in deck. The curve goes 0, 1, 2 is your highest, 3, 4, 5, 6 is 1. Try and lose some 3 cost cards. Maybe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. Let's. Uh, Oh, I'll adjust for land. Deck strength, awesome. Okay, yes, I'll take it. <laughs> Save changes. Back. Okay, that didn't take too long. Uh-huh. All right. And, okay. Play with sealed deck. Oh, can I not? No, 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 no. Go back, go back. And then go back again. Just put it all on the same goddamn menu. All right, create match. Sealed play, right, and then options, private, invite, there you go. Hello! Ta da! Joining. <laughs> my, <laughs> my deck is the best named deck in the entire game. Let's see, my deck is called New Vision. My deck is called Default Deck Name. <laughs> Noob Vision, that's awesome. Some reference to the series. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's gonna take me a few seconds to see your cards. Uh-huh. Um I'm gonna keep I have head. got a buttload of this land. Oh and we shall call it this land. <laughs> this is almost like a mini game going on now, whenever there's a co-op or stream. Or Holy thing, shit. Just find the way just to wiggle in this land <laughs> somewhere. Uh, I'd draw a new hand. That is all land gathering, even the terramorphic expanse on the end there. Okay. Uh, except now I don't get the option, I don't think. Actually, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, you're gonna see what happens? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't know if anybody's watching, but uh, are, is there anybody watching? I, uh, I am watching your stream, but it looks like I'm the only viewer. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I mean your stream. Oh, uh, hello if anybody's watching my stream. If you are, you can talk to me in the chat, but I'm not actually watching the stream at the moment, so uh, 
I'm unable to tell you what the quality is like. So if there are any problems, you guys let me know and I'll fix it right up for you. Yeah, I, I mean, I meant if I if I have to give uh, the basic premise uh, speech or not. Like, uh, oh, well, if if we're gonna record it too, then yeah. So the basic premise is that uh, I am almost clueless about uh, magic cards, and I have only played like uh, two sessions all together. And uh, and what's gonna happen here is some uh, learning by doing. And uh, learning by failing. <laughs> and and, and uh, there will be a lot of failing. Trust, this is magic. <laughs> there will be failing. You will learn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of honour has been done this day. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't mean to interrupt the uh, the learning uh, speech, uh -huh. as it were. But you are running out of time on your turn. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Play. <laughs> okay. But if you want to continue, I am. I am more than happy to. Uh, I think I can stop the timer. Yeah, since there is nothing else that I can play than this land for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was sneaky, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> that's that's what I meant, sneakily working it into the dialogue, as if it belonged there. Mm. <laughs> I, I I have nothing else to do right now but continue. Okay. So uh, I've noticed that your deck is uh, it's got three types of land in it. Uh, that can be confusing sometimes, but if you've got the cards to work with it, like Sunburst variety, um, they can work really well. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Yeah. You are definitely being thrown in at the deep end, though, doing sort of sealed play and triple colour deck, and so this is going to be... It might be, uh overwhelming in some places and if it is just uh let me know and i'll try and help as best i can but uh okay. yeah we, we should be all right now if you would take a look at my uh, strength for a second mm -hmm. so you can now play any of those again um and i didn't see what card you drew did you draw another land Oh, no, 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 okay. No, I didn't draw a land, I. Let me see. Take the blood, deals one damage to target player and you gain one life. Okay, yeah. Nice. <laughs> and that was good. Oh, okay, it, it expires after one use, okay. So you did a uh, good job putting the uh, black land down so you could use that ability. Uh-huh. So, you've already got the general grasp of the basic yes, thing going uh, on. I actually, actually, uh, in the last session when I was uh, playing against the NPC, I did take quite some time uh, to put together the deck and uh, I followed uh, the game's instructions basically until I started ignoring them. <laughs> uh -huh. So yeah, the game instructed to uh, have, well, the uh, deck strength uh, indicators uh, it said uh, no more than two colors and uh, gave a sort of recommended ratio for uh, creatures and, and land. Mm. So I think I, I mostly followed the uh, strength indicators for, uh, for land creature ratio and then I, I ignored some of it, uh, some of the uh, suggestions and uh, and added a little bit, a splash of third color, but it's only a splash. It's it's always a good idea to sort of follow the general idea of that guide, but it's not like gospel by any standards. Like there could be some players out there who play with like a fully sunburst deck, and that would be yeah. like completely against what the game would expect or want you to do. But they mm -hmm. can be absolutely unforgivable with them. Do you know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. It does, it swings and roundabouts. Yep, okay, so I've got some uh, forest and some swamp land. Uh, and it looks like you picked, a, picked up a beast there as well. Hmm? Sorry? It looks like you picked up a beast there as well. The one yep, on the but end. the beast uh, requires uh, more resource than I've got for the moment. And that terramorphic expanse that you've got there is one that you play instead of playing your land card for that turn. 
and then you can get rid of it to find a land card, I think is what the gist of that card is. So, yeah, unfortunately you can't do anything at the moment, but you want to sort of focus on getting a creature down so that you can start working out board control and dealing damage and all things like that. But if you draw uh, another creature on your next turn, your your tactic might change. Like, So you might want to save your, your beast and just yeah. play a little card to begin with. Yeah. And see what I've got in the way of like maybe counter spells and things like that, and uh, mm -hmm. just sort of bait me out a little bit. I think yeah. when I was uh, playing against the NPC, then uh, for the uh, for the match that uh, that I kept uh, that uh, whew, what I was going to say uh, in the match where I managed to hold out quite long, I would say that the uh, uh, when the match uh, was. Uh, down to I don't know two three last moves. Then the NPC had like six life points, and so did I. So it was like uh, it it wasn't a uh, quick kill or anything. Uh, but uh, there, uh, for a while, I chose to take the damage myself and save the creatures. That is a very <laughs> viable tactic. Yep. So I've just played a sliver creature, and these guys can be quite. So the, the whole idea behind Slivers is they synergize with one another, and thankfully I've only got two in this deck, and they're, on, they're both Sentinel Slivers. Um, so Sliver creatures you control have Vigilance, pretty much as long as this card's on the field. Others, like you will find a green Sliver, and uh, he'll give all your Slivers like plus one, plus one or something, and mm -hmm. they all synergize really well with one another. And there have been mm -hmm. some quite devastating sliver decks in the past. So I've played uh -huh. him, and he's got Vigilance. And Vigilance means attacking doesn't cause him to tap. So he's still got the ability to block next turn if oh. if an attack comes in. But unfortunately, he's got Summoner Sickness, so I can't use him right now. So I'm just going to continue my turn. But yeah, the, uh, the tactic of taking the damage to the face and building up your board control is often a very good tactic when it comes to this game. Mm-hmm. Ah, so negate all damage done this turn? Uh-huh. Okay. But for now, I am not going to uh, play it. Nope. I am going to lay down some land. And if there will be damage, I will be... Oh! I can put this one down. Very strong creature. Let me just. Uh... Yeah. Okay, it's only flavor text. I would have thought. I would have thought someone like him would have had trample. He looks like a bit of a beast. So trample is. So your creature does four damage. My creature can take two damage, and then there's obviously a remaining two damage. Trample mm -hmm. means that that damage goes directly to my life points. That oh. that final two damage will go directly to my life points instead of just sort of getting wasted in the ether so uh you'll you'll come to learn all the sort of trample vigilance all that sort of business reach it just sort of comes with the territory yeah continue mm -hmm. and continue okay so that's kind of interesting um. Hello! We could yeah. be brothers! <laughs> Nigel, is that you? <laughs> I haven't seen you in 20 years! How you been, buddies? <laughs> oh, it's like a big family reunion. And this, this sliver's just off to one side, like, guys, sorry, fighting here. If I'm third wheeling, I can just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my long-lost brother, we meet again. <laughs> but this time, in battle. <laughs> <laughs> Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> right, I am not going to attack with my sliver. Okay. I, pr I probably should have just run him into you for the sake of it. Okay, 
Let's see what card you draw. I need to forget that I'm. I shouldn't be playing this tactically or to win. I should be playing it for an educational standpoint. Oh, but uh, unless you do, uh, if you play it tactically, that uh, plays right into my hand for the learning purposes. So uh, I well I'm not pulling any punches. Neither should you. Reach your trample and reveal it. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good card. I well, if you're not pulling any punches, then neither shall I. Uh huh. And speaking of trample, let's see. I will pick. Ooh. Should it go? should come to your hand. But it just disappeared. Oh, choose a creature to put on top of its owner's library. So oh, you'll okay, draw it so next. So it will be here next turn. Yeah. Well, I won't be playing it this turn anyway. So. And I believe I still need to add some land. I'm gonna diversify a little bit. Bring the fire. The brothers clash in battle. <laughs> uh, except I wanted to... I wanted to attack your sliver, but I can't... Uh, oh, so I can't directly attack your card, I can only attack you. Yeah, so it's up to me to declare blockers. And there are some cards that... There are some cards that are like, oh, this card must be blocked. Or all creatures able to block X card do so this turn, or and things like that. So you can sort of divert the attack and divert the defense, which is nice. Yeah, then I then I then I shall hold my attack for now. Okay, build build up the board control and then come in with some absolutely out of hand punch. Yeah, my fleet is not uh, completely deployed yet. How could how could I attack? <laughs> <laughs> it would be unwise. Hmm. I'm going to play my white knight. So, uh, a little exposition please. What does it do? I can't remember. Okay, I so read. first strike and protection from black. I think protect... I am not entirely sure on what protection from black means. So we can check out more info. So, while on the battlefield, something with protection from black can't be the target of black spells or abilities or black cards. Black spells and abilities that don't use the word target still affect a creature with protection. Okay. Anything since, with... Uh, since I have black in my deck, uh, that might uh, throw a little uh, um, dampener to my plans. But wait! There's more! <laughs> <laughs> Anything with protection from black can't be damaged by black cards, and black creatures can't block an attacking creature with protection from black. So this is pretty serious. Mm. And then first strike is attacking and blocking creatures that have first strike and double strike deal combat damage before other creatures. So basically, if you've got a 2-2 two -two and I've got a 2-2... Two -two, um, um, and one of the two twos has got either first strike or double strike, it deals its damage first, as opposed to them clashing at the same time, as it were. So, first strike allows you to get in first before taking any damage, pretty much. And creatures that have double strike deal twice the combat damage, but that's something that will come to when one of us deals a double strike card. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Little, little lesson on some more of the effects of the cards. And uh, I'm, I'm going to throw my... Is he a Bullrog? Or he's a Baloth? He's a rumbling Baloth. Attack! Okay, so it's up to you to declare your blockers. I see blocking. I take the responsibility myself. Four damage to the nose. Although, to be fair, you had got one life out of me and added it to your own total. So you're not like, 
You haven't yeah. lost like four. You've lost technically three, if that makes sense. Because you would have still been on original life points otherwise. Yep. So that's the, that's the way I look at it anyway. And there's your worm. Where's my worm? Uh, you got worms. Well, you're actually in quite a good position there because if you attack with both the 4-4 four, four and the 2-1, fair enough, the 2-1, if I decide to block it, will die, but it will also take out the remaining blockers that I have. And the Baloth, your remaining, your, your Baloth, will just either go straight to my face or it will do the chance of taking out one of my creatures. So you've got a chance of either doing me a total of... Oh, did it just skip combat phase? Oh, that sucks. But no, uh, I I wasn't sure I wanted to attack anyway. Oh, okay, but the uh, the benefits from that would have been either six damage directly to my face, or you would have killed both of my remaining creatures that are untapped. Yeah, but also my fleet ain't ready. <laughs> oh, powering up! Powering up. Um, well, you're only going to be a 3-3 three, three if I play you now, so let's play you instead. So this is my Dawnstrike Paladin. I put a lot of bank in these cards usually in my other deck. Uh, Vigilance, obviously, attacking doesn't cause it to tap, and then you've got Life Link. So if I hit you with this card and mm -hmm. it does the damage, I gain two life mm -hmm. from the damage done. And I think... If you've got like a 2-1 and I do the 2 damage, I think I only get the 1, uh -huh. but I might get the 2, so I don't, I'm not 100% sure. This is the problem with the computer game, you don't have to learn the rules as much because the computer does it all for you. Uh -huh. Like, you could just throw this card down and you can be like, right, I'm getting lifelink, I don't have to worry about that anymore. But whereas in a real life game, you have to take into account all of that, like, there's no one keeping your life total for you and things like that, which is why I think it's a bit easier to teach the physical card game. Like... Uh -huh. You get more drawn into it, obviously, because of the pictures, and you've got a physical thing to hold and that sort of thing. And I can actually point yeah. point to the numbers on the card or point to certain things on the card, and it's not left up to interpretation. If if I say to you, oh, look at this area on the card in the computer game, and if there's something lost in translation there and you're looking at the wrong area, then I'm I'm not teaching you wrong, but there's something getting lost there. Whereas if we had the physical cards, I'd be able to just point it and be like, right, this means this, blah, blah, blah. So... Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, uh, my sort of uh, uh, info goblin capacity might work better uh, with this one. Maybe. So now I would have to block. Good block. And another good block. Excellent. So that's two of my creatures gone. Boom! Splat. Nice work. <laughs> Boom! Ooh. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I didn't turn my phone back off after I called the people I needed to call this morning. Okay. Sorry. I'll stand back for a little. No, 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 no. I'm not answering the phone. It's like plus 386119 something or other. I ain't answering that. It could be someone in Afghanistan for all I know. could be Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Hello. We read copy of Split Personality. Not happy. Want refund. Yes, yes, okay. <laughs> oh, yours. Don't kill me. <laughs> right, let me, let me turn my phone off like I was supposed to this morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, first, I am going to scout for more land. 
Okay. Except, why didn't it do anything? Well, if you click on it now... Oh, activate, okay. There you go. I was just waiting, it, waiting for it to come up on the stream so I could see sort of what was going on, but mm -hmm. it's a little far behind. But I think I think you're okay. I think the the cards you've sort of got are pretty easy to explain, and I've got mm -hmm. some I've got some of them memorized. Not all of them, but some of them. And now. Ooh. Nice. Putting life link and plus two plus two on your strongest creature is definitely a, a good move. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> so you've got a bit of a brute there now. Continue. And no. I go up. Hmm. Brother! <laughs> it has to happen, I'm sorry. Brother! Now, the question is, do I want to take 8 damage? Because that's... I'm going to have to chump block that. But even if I do, you... You stand the chance of either getting 4 life or 8 life out of this. So, we shall see what happens, but I am chump blocking. Sorry, Dawnguard Paladin. No! Or Dawn, Dawn Strike brother. Paladin. <laughs> brother! <laughs> Done. Did you ever play Metal Gear Solid uh, 2? No. Nope. Oh, uh, there's a... Spoilers for anyone who hasn't played it, but if you haven't if you haven't played it yet and you're into those sorts of games, what are you thinking? Um, but there's this, there's this bit where you're sort of chasing after this dude, and uh, it's typical, like, action, zooming in and all stuff like this, and this dude's jumped on the top of one of the big Metal Gear things, and uh, you, the main character, looks up at him and he goes, "Brother!" <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> it's just so action, like rrr, so cheesy. Okay, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play Dawn Grove Elder, even though this probably isn't my best move right now. And he has a strength. And toughness, power and toughness, equal to the number of forests I control. So currently he's the 3-3. Three, three. Um, unfortunately, he does have some of the sickness. Now, I'm being quite kind to you. I've got two pacifisms in my hand. And uh, I'm not using them. Because that would just be terrible. I would probably get sent to the 7th level of hell for doing such a thing. There's playing to win, and then there's just being a downright dick. Do you know what I mean? And and pacifism is a dick card. Yeah, okay. Uh, I haven't got it, so... Yeah. Not even in my deck, so I wouldn't know. Pacifism is the one that... Uh, in, okay, enchanted creature can't attack or block. Yeah, Ooh. I drew a new creature. Acidic slime. And I'm going to put it... Acidic oh, slime. Creatures. And... Oh. Oh. I don't <laughs> think I've ever. Is this the one that they were using in the t in the battlefield? Destroy target. I oh, can. I can, I can destroy some land. <laughs> you can destroy some of my land. Yes. Oh. So there you go. Get rid of a forest and my hydra. Yep, and and my Hydra loses power now because you've taken out one of his, uh... Ooh. Yeah, I, I didn't even realise I, I had this power. I thought it was just a creature. Uh, does this qualify as a dick move? No, 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 no. <laughs> you're, you're new to it, so you can't really do dick moves. You You don't know what the power of the cards are and things like that just yet. So, when you know what you're doing, like, 100%, or when you play, like, two oh, okay. pacifisms in a row on someone, and just totally go for their face, it's... Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> or do I? Because I just, I just read what it can do. So, I was aware. Mm. I was doing it willingly. Destroy their crops! 
oak and grow. Mm. Honorably, destroy their crops honorably. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I have to carry on. Let's see. What does your do do? Dies horribly the next turn. <laughs> Your fate has been sealed, Elder of the Dawn Grove. Or Dung Grove. Why can they not just... You know, come on now. Right, I am going to chump block, and now this leaves me in a very questionable position. I no longer have any creatures in my hand available to play. So this is going to go very badly, very quickly. You're on 33 life, by the way. Congratulations. Uh, it was happening pretty much the same way with the NPC as well, and then he started uh, turning my uh, army to toes and uh, <laughs> switching up uh, my uh, real creatures for his uh, fairies and, and such. I am going to pacify your 2-2, two -two, and my reasoning behind this is it has death touch. Even though I've got no creatures, and in probably any other situation I would have probably done it to the 8-6. Although the 8-6 is hexproof, isn't he? Oh no, he's he's got the uh, vampiric touch. Okay. Um, and I'm going to continue and hope that I can hold out for one more turn and draw a super beastie creature, and if that doesn't happen then I'm afraid... You have won your first game, my friend. I am going... Okay, check my... Let's see. This one takes four. And the stream's just frozen, just as you've drawn a card, and I can't see what it is. No! So, you will know I'm coming after you. But, I wonder if I can pay Diabolic Tutor as well. And... Uh, I, I have the I have the power to pick, uh, to get one more card right now, but I'm not sure if I have enough of this land. <laughs> and we shall call it this land. Okay, I might be making a mistake here, but uh, I'm too greedy, so I'm going to uh, take diabolic tutor because. Yep. Now, if you can find a way to give one of your creatures more power, and uh, bearing in mind you've got two forests and one flame, you could potentially kill me this turn. <laughs> Are you just forgetting that my whole army will resurrect next turn? <laughs> just forgetting that you're not, you're not getting another turn. <gasps> yes! I can't, uh, I can't play it right oh, now. Oh no! <laughs> I, I drew Tormented Soul. A little measly, subtle <clears throat> little card that uh, proved very useful against that NPC. But, I'm gonna just leave it here for now. Continue. <laughs> right, come on, I need to super draw. Onward! Onward! Boom! You've got me down to one life! Whoa! <laughs> Probably no need to play that, but... Fair enough. Oh, okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting greedy <laughs> because <laughs> there were. That's that's one of my uh, weaknesses. Uh, if there are moves left, I kind of uh, want to use them all. <laughs> mm. Yep. Yeah, no, I but think you've won this speaking, game. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of, uh, when is it actually viable? Uh, to play the folk card because if I play it in the beginning of the turn, that means it negates my own uh, damage too. Well, it's an instant, isn't it? Is it an instant? Let me just check that. Yes, uh, it's an instant. It means you can play it at any time. So if it looks like you've got a load of damage coming in, stop the timer, bang, throw that down, negates oh, all damage that turn. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's not restricted to turns. No. No, it's an, oh. a, any in, any instant card. So, oh. sorceries, enchantments, all that sort of stuff need to be played on your turn unless otherwise stated. There are some creatures that have got, like, okay. flash, and that'll allow you to play them any, to, any time. But in the majority of the game, instants can only be played, it can be played any time, and they're literally the only cards that can be done that way. Mm. Oh, shit, sorry, it's, okay. uh, continue. Sorry, I didn't... Yeah. Uh, instru instructional failure in action, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Oh, let's see. Ooh. I think that's just okay. general brain flay fa fla brain failure. Excellent. E eh. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna give up. I'm gonna learn a different language. I'm obviously not smart <laughs> enough for English. I'll learn Aboriginal switch caveman. Show. Yeah, switch uh, OBS to Estonian interface. <laughs> oh yes. I could do murder here. Since, well, murder is a pretty straightforward thing, and I realize I would really know what I'm doing, that would count as a dick move. So I think, uh, <laughs> subtle dickery instead. Tormented soul. Murder is one of the is one of the black deck dick cards. So white's got pacifism, and murder is black. <laughs> pacifism versus murder. <laughs> And right now, I think I have to continue. Brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm bracing. No need to. <laughs> no need to worry there. If you attack with multiple creatures, I can't. I can't chump block all of them. One of them will get through. But if I chump I'm block that, I get my turn. I'm, I get another turn. I'm just Ooh, okay, so I get another turn. <laughs> oh, so it has! Oh! There you go! Holy bugger! <laughs> nice work. GG, excellent game! Thank you! No vision wins! That was awesome. Okay, so I take it the rematch is in order? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually you do you best two out of three for magic games. Usually. Oh. Okay. Right, uh, I'm ready, yeah. So if you go to like a Friday night magic or anything, not that, not that I imagine you would, but uh, if you ever did... Um, it's usually best two out of three. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will show you my hand, just in case. Forest, mountain, swamp. Okay, so it sounds like you've got a good deal of land. Yep. And that did you okay last round. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to keep both of them because they bring me more creatures. Huh, okay. I didn't realize that I even had that. Okay, the stream has finally just caught up. I don't think so. You've got four land, you've got two uh, trackers, and... What was the last one? The the black card? Uh, Minotaur abomination. abomination. Oh, excellent. So yeah, that's a pretty good strong hand. I mean, if you can... You can get the, yeah, seek I... the Seekers down pretty quick. Um... I'm gonna play this land and continue. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the uh, that's because of the uh, deck building indicators. Mm. Uh, I think it had some pointers about the level of creatures as well, so I took a few stronger ones into the mix. Definitely a good idea. Continue. It's a minotaur with another minotaur growing out of its back. Um, I'm going to go for a plain card. See, the only problem is I can see from that hand at the moment is if you don't draw into a forest card by sort of t uh, turn two or three, or oh. probably turn three, uh, then you're going to have to hope yeah. that the cards you have drawn are payable by the resources you've got. Yeah. 
Speaking of. Oh, boom! Nice work! The heart <laughs> of the cards is with you, my friend. Okay, and I think I can't play anything else right now, so... Continue. And continue. Ooh, I can play a Deadly Recluse. Ooh. Now this little arachnid bastard is actually pretty cool. Not only has he got reach, which means he can take out characters with flying, <laughs> but he also has death touch. And that means that anything anything he hits, regardless, so I could run him into like, say you had a 12-12 creature, and if mm -hmm. I ran him into him and he's got death touch, then your creature mm -hmm. dies regardless of the damage I do. They both mm. die. They'll obviously both die, but obviously because he's got mm. death touch, he does the he kills him. He does the death dance. So. Okay, so it's like a kamikaze unit. Mm, kind of, yeah. I mean, if I if I hit something. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I keep forgetting to click continue. <laughs> continue. <gasps> My turn. Okay. I shall play down some swamp. Pretty much looks like forest, doesn't it? Mmm, yeah. And like I'm a canopy gonna... forest. Yeah, I'm gonna put down one of the track trackers who might die horribly from a spider bite, but. You will also kill him if the combat goes down like that. Yep, yeah, that's one thing, and another thing. And Ooh. Where did it where did it go? Uh top of your library. Oh okay. Uh so yeah, did you see it? The uh Death Touch Scorpion. Yep. Matching Death Touch for Death Touch. They are really cool looking cards, the Scorpions. Oh, stream just lagged up for a second there. Come back yep. to me. Okay. Go, my sliver army of one. Slivers. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I am going to possibly attack. Yes. I haven't. What happens, Go on. What happens if a uh, death touch creature touches the uh, player? Oh, if I if I let if I take the damage myself, then I won't uh, eradicate uh, your recluse, will I? No. Okay. Then in this case. Sorry, Tracker. <laughs> You're gonna die for the good cause. Yep. But, um, you raise a sort of good point there. If Death Touch touches you, it, it only takes the life points off. It doesn't, it doesn't okay. kill the character. That would be kind of badass if it did, though. <laughs> Suddenly, Death Touch cards become much, much more expensive. Like, eight, eight, eight <laughs> mana to play. I want the word. <laughs> yeah. You got worms. Okay, let's do this, Leroy! <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
It's only until the end of turn. And then, boom, continue! That needs to be changed to onwards. I'm going to petition wizards. I'm going to be like, change, change, change the fight button to onwards. Or the continue button to onwards. Actually, uh, yeah, okay. I... The game did it for me. I wasn't yeah. You no no no. You had to take the damage to your face then, because unfortunately oh. he's he's got flying until the end of turn. So if I click oh. continue now, oh. he'll lose flying and the plus two two. But yeah, if you haven't got any creatures with reach or flying, unfortunately you have to take the damage. Okay, good <laughs> Gimme. Okay. And I need more forest. I would like forest. And can I oh I think I already have uh, then I'm gonna play a little stinger. Uh oh. Whoops. <laughs> hmm. Going to skip attack. Wise, I feel. Wise move. And continue. So, yeah, what I was going to say is uh, let them have their continue. We can have onward. Uh, yep. <laughs> In chaos cards. Oh, yes. That will be cool. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a PC release eventually, hopefully, if all goes to plan. Because, I mean, like, it can't That's be that difficult natural, to. Natural development. Yeah. It can't be that difficult to get. If if enough people are sort of liking the idea of Chaos Cards, then no doubt a games company will be like, oh, we could probably make money off of this. Let's exploit it. And there they go. <laughs> and I'll be like, look, I'll do it, but, it only, but only because it means I get a cool card game out of it. <laughs> um. Make more sense to first uh, make it uh, free or I don't know, fan uh, financed. Yeah, yeah, like, like Kickstarter and things like that. The stick figure rendition, and then uh, <laughs> there will be like uh, upgrades as as we lure more skillful uh, folks on board. Mm, we definitely need <gasps> to find ourselves a couple of artists, that's for sure. I turn. Oh god, not rats. There's a there's a part in the campaign story where you go up against rats and they just I think they either multiply or they buff one another like for every ravenous rats you've got you get an extra plus one plus one to rats and you can have any number of ravenous rats in your deck or something like that. It's just a ridiculous oh. card. In any case, I'm going to hold it back okay. for now, it's like the nuclear button. I Just think so that's you know, Ravenous yeah. Rats. Ravenous Rats is a weak creature but destroys one of your cards. Oh. And I think it's like a uh, one-off thing, but I don't think they stack in any way. Oh. It doesn't say here, let's say more info. This card can be affected by anything that affects creatures or any of its creature types. It's also a permanent. Once put onto the battlefield, it stays on the battlefield until something causes it to leave. So it's like a like an effect in creature form. Creatures power blah 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 blah. Oh, too much text. <laughs> 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 I entered. Oh, text, text, text. Zone out phase. Let's see, I haven't uh, played the Minotaur of Abomination. Oh, think. your turn's about to run out. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a worm up. Oh. You get a second main phase after this to play creatures. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, we have got the sliver. I will skip attack, I think. And not my main phase. Oh. 
Did you accidentally skip your mind phase as well? Maybe I was just talking so long that uh, it kind of skipped itself. <laughs> um, That's the lesson. <laughs> okay. Like, reel in the villain speech. <laughs> Keep the villain speech for after. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna skip my attack as well. Why? Because we're both sort of on the back foot, if that makes sense. If you attack me, I can definitely kill one of your creatures. Oh no, I can only kill one of your creatures, but I also need to hold mana back for things like spells yeah. and things like that. Okay. Advocate of the Beast. Oh, he's cool. Uh, Not yet. I am seriously land starved over here. Just think about those rats. What they could do. I'm not sure if it's ravenous rats or another rats, but there are definitely rats in this game that are like you can have any number of them in your deck and they are just the worst. They are one of the hardest <laughs> things. Um Oh, okay. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do uh, no dick moves. No dick moves. Right. We're gonna giant growth this guy. Plus three, plus three, five, five. And we're gonna we're gonna try and cause some damage. Damage. Mm. I'm gonna try and swing through. Okay. Continue. And punch, punch with all your might and honor. And on I shall take that damage and save my crew. For now. And mm. use up your en enchantment. This is true. <laughs> Not all enchantments disappear at the end of the round, but okay. some of them do. So like pacifism no. doesn't disappear. Uh, uh, auras. I think it. I think. I think they've changed it so enchantments might disappear, but auras stay. But again, mm -hmm. I could be. I could be wrong there. Right. So I'm gonna play more land, and now the beast. Oh shit! Does your uh, worm count as a beast? Okay, no. Phew. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. I don't That's need you adding mean. plus one plus one counters to that at the end of every turn. That would suck balls. Wait. It doesn't seem to do anything. Wait. No, no, no. It's a um. You need a beast card in play, and uh, it also um. It will do it automatically. So at the beginning of your end oh, okay. step. Put a plus one. It will do that automatically, and that's another one of those things like the physical cards. Like you don't have to keep on. You have to keep on top of that in the physical world, but obviously the game does all that for you. So. Okay. I will hold for action for now. Continue. You're burning me out. Like you're burning my deck out. I am running out of feasible tactics and things like that. Um, do I chump block or do I take the six damage? Uh, I'm going to skip block. <laughs> I made a mistake last turn. I should have saved that forest. Let's see. Right now I 
I can only play uh, rats or the minotaur. I don't have enough uh, mana for the minotaur, and I don't. I want to hold back the rats for now. Okay. Continue. Whew! You couldn't have come at a better time. Right. <laughs> Although I fear you may be too late to this party. Uh, <laughs> shit. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay. We hold. Hold the line. Your six fours all I tapped out. Are you feller? Your six fours all tapped out, and I have a plan. Mua, mua. If it's 2-2 two, two, and 2-3 two, against each other. The 2-2 two, two will die and the 2-3 will live. It would have been even more embarrassing if you'd have done me with the 1-3. Because even though he hasn't got a match, oh. he's got death touch. And he would have ruined my face. <laughs> okay. We're good here. No. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Leeching my health away and giving it to yourself. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's called tactics. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> it's appalling cynicism. <laughs> if you can find two more damage, you can kill me this round. Six, seven, eight, nine, Six, ten, eleven. Yeah, you can. Shit. Sure. Attack with all. Let's see what happens. Um, I only buy myself one turn. I hope that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Now, if it negates all damage, then... Uh... It negates all combat damage. I don't know if it ne negates combat damage directly to my life, but I suppose it does. I thought it why might you, have just been creature you, versus creature. Why do you still get the splat, uh, splat effect? Oh, yeah. The, it, uh, it did uh, your life counter stayed the same. Yep. Well, that, praise the gods! I am now alive for yet another turn, for you to for you to build up more army. And you've got a minotaur on side now. It's not going to be a good next turn. I'm holding back the rats just so. Uh, <laughs> Continue. You have a minotaur with another minotaur growing out of his back. <laughs> um. Uh, four, six, ten, twelve, thirteen. I need to get two. I needed to get two creatures down this turn to be able to chump block out enough. But they're all too expensive. <laughs> yes, they're all far too expensive. So in that case, I need to go for blocking out a larger amount of damage. So I can't block out the six and the. F oh. Okay, okay. I don't load, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, I just realized. Okay. You're, you're playing seeing both hands. I can only see your hand. I'm not really paying that much attention to the stream. I mean, I, for your I mean, hand. Uh, I'm only, I can, I can only access uh, uh, my hand. You can only access half of the information. And I'm, and I'm still. Kind of, sort of, <clears throat> doing tactics here. <laughs> Just You're winning. Let's 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 call it how it is. You are winning. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's uh, really know that hubris because that ain't doing me anything good. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Lap it up. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> because when we come when we come to go in deck versus deck in pre-built. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember this moment. 
I'm probably still going to lose, and I'm still going to remember this moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, crap. My continue button. I am not... Because I usually have that set off, like it auto-continues when you can't do anything, I, uh, I'm not used to selecting that. Oh, brothers! Yeah, my brother... <laughs> Bodies! <laughs> Continue. Right, now, I've got to think about this. On a scale to 1 to 10, I'd say I was fucked. Right. Block him. Chump block him. And we might even get a murder out of that, which would be nice. But then, if he's got trample, then that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... I end up with two life remaining. Thank God for basic maths. <laughs> now I have no clue what I'm going to do. Wait, did you just uh, wear off some of those? Oh, okay. There you go. Head to head. Head back. Poof. <laughs> you shall pay for that. <laughs> and now you get to put a, a, a token on a beast card. Boom! I should have put it on the Minotaur. It's the Minotaur beast. I don't know. Oh no, he's a creature zombie. Oh, okay. Can I form a defense? Not against two damage, I can't. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure. Now, I don't mean to be a negative nanny here, but I don't <laughs> think I'm going to win this. I'll give it my all, though. I'm not going to get. I'm not just going to roll over. I will uh, attempt to fight for honor, and yep. such such forth. My turn, I would play more land. And no! What's, what's the timer doing? Onward! <laughs> by Steve! Even if I block this out, I don't think I've got a chance. There's one, two. Uh, just for ceremonial reasons. I'm going to try and reduce that damage down a little bit, so I'm only taking five total, hopefully. So I'm on oh, minus that's, three. That's which so uh, appropriate that these two went against each other. Yeah? Minus one. Yeah, my, minus three sounds better than minus thirteen or minus twelve. So. <laughs> I didn't even know you could go minus. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my, my. I've got some. I've got a. I've got a uh, screenshot somewhere of the enemy going minus one hundred thirty-three from oh. one creature, and that was with the uh, white deck I had. And that was badass. So, oh, GG. You have oh you've done two out of three you've won <laughs> right back at you nice work okay I'm, I'm ready let's see if you can destroy my uh, sneaky noobish ways <laughs> or whatever okay I've I've I am gonna warn you now I'm probably gonna start using my dick moves yep yeah and uh, I think you have gained a culpable amount of knowledge on the on the art of magic. That you may also use dick cards without without fear of reprisal. So if you want to just straight up murder me, I will allow it. <laughs> but that, but but on the equal footing, please please don't cry when I pacify like a nine nine hydra. I have rats. <laughs> I might pacify the rats. Like, no, you back in your holes. 
Tormented Soul can't block and can't be blocked. However, he is a 1-1 one, one for 1. So that means you've already got board control turn 1, pretty much. Now, if it was a 1-1 one, one for 1 with tra with uh, haste, like they've got in the red decks, then you'd be onto something. Um, Sentinel Sliver! <laughs> Go, my minion. Although, to be fair, Tormented Soul... If he can't block and can't be blocked, the only time... He's not going to die. The only time you can kill him is if you hit him with a spell or something. Well played. <laughs> I can't block him. Can't block yep. and can't be blocked. A sadness arises within me. There you go. Right. I might have to burn my pacify on him then. <laughs> I'm not sure. I can't even pacify. I don't know. Uh, I don't it's know. uh. I don't know anything about the background systems. It, it's not if if your card is hexproof. It, it can't be the target of spells or abilities opponent controls. If it is... I can't remember the word, but there's another one that makes it so it can't be the target and spells of anybody's abilities. So. Meanwhile, let us think, what would be the equivalent of this in terms of uh, Chaos cards? The one that can't really... What was that? That is a rock egg. He is a defender, and uh, when he dies, you, he hatches. He becomes a three-three <gasps> white bird token instead. Ooh. Which is very fancy. I like cards that transform because you're not just throwing them away on defense. Then they've actually got a purpose. Mm. Yeah. Ah, but because your thing has attacked, you have left your face wide open. I will have you down in ten turns. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Ten turns, assuming I do two damage every turn with a sliver, which is highly unlikely. I am just saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, continue. Sorry, I'm sort of. Uh, I'm so not used to doing that. I'm sorry. Check out what I've got. Ooh, I think the stream is like a good timer bar behind. I'm gonna play some forest and hold in a longer action because yeah. I've only got the soul. Okay, so the stream has only just caught up to my turn. My last turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. I, I have got uh, Tectonic Rift. Ooh. That is that the one that hits all creatures without flying? Yep. Okay. What do you want from me? I can't block. <laughs> so that would have to be some sort of uh, stealth... Uh, Civilian stealth vessel that doesn't have any uh, active uh, active weapon systems. Like a like a drone, because the drones are going to be one one uh -huh. sort of self autonomous things. But mm -hmm. um, it, maybe one or two of the drones can't be targeted by regular yeah, characters for, and things like that. Reason it won't, uh, for some reason, it won't uh, qualify as. Uh, it's a viable uh, target or something. Or you've got to do a coin flip to see if you can hit it. Mm -hmm. I think that would be pretty cool. I like the idea of coin flips. Uh, see, I could pacify you, see, but I want to save that for a bigger creature. Yeah. Continue. I have rats. <laughs> rats. And worms! You have rats and worms. So... I don't know what that says about the uh, hygiene state of your deck. 
but uh, rats and worms, eh? You should stop leaving food out. That's the trick. We like to work with the land. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way we do things here. Yes. Well, crap. I, I think this might be uh, your uh, rematch because I keep drawing uh, land cards. <clears throat> I keep drawing land cards, but... Uh, no I actual... Only have, I only have the soul on my side. Hmm. Creatures. Although... I am very fearful of the day you get that soul and like rampant growth and things like that and turn it into a 2020 by turn 5 and just go straight through. <laughs> oh! That's one of my land. Yep. I needed that! I destroy this land, for I have no army, but I have no honor. <laughs> Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. It isn't that sudden, you know. Mm, yeah, well, fair point. <laughs> I've been planning this since we met. <laughs> <laughs> I have been building this since the previous session. <laughs> What's, what's the equivalent of one damage? Like, sort of, like a bitch uh, slap. <laughs> it's a cough. It's a cough in my general life point direction. If nothing else, you are consistent. Continue. <laughs> Way Some equipment! That costs nothing to play, but costs three to equip, you son of a bitch. Activate ability, two, three, right. Use the mana. No, just, just, just play. Just, I don't need to worry about what's being cast for what, just do it. There you go. Do it. It's like, please select your mana. Well, no, you select my mana, just get on with it, please. <laughs> There you go. I just want to put this thing on here. Okay. Oh, it's still your turn. Okay. Oh. The uh, cards it selected for me uh, left me with one forest, which meant I could still play everything in my hand anyway. If they built the system around that and just all owed to right, you want to, you can only use these cards. So da da. Then that would have been a bit better, but I think I'm just giving them too much grief because I'm so pissed off that 2015 doesn't work. Yeah, no, since uh, in this uh, particular match, I am so heavy on land and so uh, under equipped uh, fleet wise, uh, I. Well, I am going to address the infrastructure. You will know the rats will be coming. I would just like to point out, though, that all of your previous matches with this deck against me have been very successful because of the amount of land that's been in there. This might just be like a so, one-off glitch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the uh, I, I think the uh, land creature ratio suggestions that the uh, game gave, gave me uh, were good. It's just that I don't have any creatures, but. Let her rumble for my deck. <laughs> the Seeker! Oh, Tracker. Seeker! Getting ahead of our hotels. This isn't Chaos Cards yet. <laughs> I am not going after strong creatures right now. I am going. Since uh, this. Uh, I, I probably will need to play early this time. Just gonna select murder. Oh, or, uh, God, not the slime uh, again. Slime. And he's got death touch as well. And now I'm going to destroy that shield of yours. Ah, well played. Wait. Oh, damn, have I got to give up one of my cards? Ah, oh, you have to pick yourself. Ooh, this is diabolical. How wonderful. 
<laughs> Do you know, so my three cards, my, my three cards are Fog, Pacifism, and Dawnstrike Paladin. All very good <laughs> cards. I think <laughs> I'm less used to using Fog, though, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. There you go. Good play, though. If you could have got rid of my, uh... If you could have got rid of that shield, then that would have been... Yeah, I, I sort of thought that I could pick uh, what, to, what to destroy, but apparently not. Let's see. You know what will happen now. <coughs> hmm. Cough, cough. Still on that one clock. Every turn, one damage. I'll be dead by turn 20. At least you are consistent. It's like an itch you can do nothing about, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, right, let's do this. It's alright, they don't really synergize that well with one another because they both give each other vigilance, and since vigilance has no, no possible way of stacking... <gasps> can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? BOOM! Why didn't I do this earlier? I have scratched thine itch! Honourably, I might add. <laughs> Go, sliver man. I shall take this damage with honour. <laughs> there is no honour in taking damage from slivers. <laughs> there is honour... There is honour from taking damage from... Uh, angels and demons. There is no honour taking damage from slivers. Acidic slime enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. Oh, my face! <laughs> uh, ah, okay, now I can take out your shield. Mm hmm. So, oh, I paid <laughs> nothing for that, and then, th <laughs> and then three. <laughs> <laughs> It's like some, something you find, and then you have to pay to get it repaired, and then it ends up just still being rubbish, so they throw it away. But yes. I still, but I still have plenty of health uh, to absorb the damage, so I'm gonna save my fleet and continue. Hmm. I could have really done with the land then. Didn't get one, so we shall continue. I am going to swing for both my slivers. It's a shame I can't throw the uh, rock egg into the mix just to get it cracked. Let's see now. <clears throat> uh, two, uh, if, if you have 2-2 two, two and I have 2-1 thingy, uh, then mine's they, gonna die. They both die. Thing. They both die, okay. They both die. I'm gonna block out one of your slivers. Just one. Smoke keeps side burning, and I keep running through all the flint and gas in my lighter trying to fix it. Mm 
This light is good, but it only holds like an eighth of the usual amount of gas, and it doesn't always light, so it's it's a good lighter, but it's... I think I'm only saying that because it's been with me a long time. Yeah, pacifies an aura. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a dick card. Ah, oh, okay. I'm going to activate the more land thing. And I will bring on. Let's see. I will bring on a mountain. Really? Another Dawn Strike Paladin? You're shitting me, right? No mana? Thanks, deck. Yeah, you that's, that's all the right. creatures. I have all the land. Mm. We should strike an alliance. Mm. And I'm going to use up the slime. We need a common enemy. Yeah. We're not quite there yet, but we need a common enemy. <laughs> Blue First, cards. We shall settle this. <laughs> Blue cards. Blue cards are our enemy. With all their frogs and fairies and such. Mm. Goddamn counter and control <gasps> spells. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my. Oh, God, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, I am still attacking you with my sliver, and the yes. the seeker or the tracker and the sliver have just taken each other's damage. Mm -hmm. Now it's mm -hmm. waiting for me to click continue. Mm -hmm. Come on now. End phase. Excellent. You got another swamp. This isn't the turn before, is it? I, I don't know. I'll I think be... this is still the turn before, yeah. So I didn't get to see what you got. Was it more rats? No. Okay. I think it's more dramatic if you see it. I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> Your main phase is going to be over before that happens because there's still a turn and a turn to go yet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a gravedigger. Oh, can you bring stuff back from your graveyard? Yes, I okay. can. Let me read this because I don't usually... Let's see. And I should bring back my slime. Oh, no. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Ooh, okay, finally. Let's work some m voodoo magic. Not really voodoo magic. There's only one person here practicing voodoo, and that's you bringing people back from the dead. It was not their time yet. <laughs> oh, it was totally their time. You are practicing arts you cannot hope to fathom. But I shall in good time. <laughs> now let's see when it suits and create an artifact enchantment or land 
So. Oh, well played. <laughs> well played. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> no longer pacified. Mm. You cannot pacify me! <laughs> I refuse! I'm just so angry! <laughs> I just want to hit and fight things! He's broken the pacifism. And... I shall hold... Uh, continue. Continue. And I shall skip my attack. I love the artwork for Gravedigger. That's a really cool card. Mm -hmm. Yep. It looks like sort of Punisher style artwork. And it's uh, it's also, I think it's pretty much a Hamlet reference right here. Oh, oh the. Right there. Mm -hmm. Continue. Alas, Horatio, I knew him well. <laughs> That's the worst Shakespeare you're ever going to hear. Ever. <laughs> Let's get some protection from black on the field. And let's let's attack with a two four. Let's see if we can uh, break the barriers. I think you can defend with more than one creature. I should use up the grave digger now that he has done his job. And and the acidic slime has done its job too. So. Well, Oh, choose the order in which the creatures are dealt damage. Well, it doesn't really... Oh, it does matter because the second one's got death touch. Okay, well... Oh, you could have blocked... Okay, I'm sorry. I should have told you, but you could have just blocked with the 2-2 two -two with death touch. And oh, it would have... Okay. Yeah, sorry. That was my bad. I should have... I should have remembered. No, I kind of figured about that. Okay. But that means I... That means I keep get to keep the death touch. And the grave digger, having done its job, excellent play. So yeah, if I if I would have blocked with just the slime, then uh, you would have killed the slime slime in the process, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So actually, this works out for my benefit. Still. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you have revealed more secrets. <laughs> yeah, it's all I keep death death touch in mind. That is definitely uh, something to think about. It's on. Like Donkey Kong. Oh God, I need to <laughs> I need to answer that somehow with a thing. Five, six, seven. There's no way. Uh, three, four, five. Chump block it with the rock egg. Go in for flying damage. Okay. Okay. We, I might have just won back a tactic, possibly. But I don't think it's going to save me. Continue. I was waiting for the nanites to assemble. Hmm. Back to chipping away at my life points again. Okay. Although I got quite a few back last turn because life link on that guy. Womp. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. She? Uh, yeah. If I could only pacify your Hydra, or your worm, I'd be I'd be golden right about now, but I am unable. I lack ability. Oh, 
Here comes the murder. <laughs> Okay. Um I need to crack this egg. <laughs> I am in the mood for omelets. Uh you can only block one. So two damage is gonna get through irregardless of what happens unless you block it with something else which will ultimately mean the death of one of your creatures but I need to do it for the life link so let's see what happens here I could probably do something maybe Ah, nicely played. I didn't want to give, want to give it away because I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to be able to play it. Like, I mean, uh, the keyboard controls mm. and such. So I don't think anyone dies from that. Yeah. And one of my creatures is tapped out. And I don't get the life gain. Excellent work. <laughs> You are a fast learner, my friend. Hey, that's my life. Yes, but you've also got trample. <gasps> right, that's right. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is this, and you might have seen the AI doing this move a couple of times. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. I actually thought about something, and it worked. Mm. Yay! Crack the egg! Oh no! And I didn't even kill your fucking paladin. Nope. Can I? Okay. I should have sent the rats out as well. <laughs> no! No, no, no. Oh my. Okay, continue. Oh my dilly day, let's do this! <gasps> Round one, fight! Continue. I thought he was flying then. That would have been you cool. You got worms too. Yep. I, I I tried taking some pills, but they they just wouldn't go away. <laughs> Let's see now. Who's got to do this one? Bird. Pretty bird. Oh, I can't actually block with anything, can I? You can block with the rats. Four, three. That's seven. Yeah, but that don't do me no good. I it stops you from taking will, two damage. I will damage. risk it and take the damage myself. Yeah. I think Pacify changed the game. Yep. And I actually should have 
held on to the fork until the next turn, I think. I think that's hindsight, though, really, isn't it? Yeah, 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 but I mean, for the future reference. Ah, yeah. Although, that, that seemed quite... <gasps> um. <laughs> Uh-oh. When Bloodhunter Bat enters the battlefield, Dark Player loses two life, and you gain two life. Exactly what I needed. Hmm. Six, seven... So if I can get my worm to go through, you're in trouble. But if you can block it, then you might survive this next. Go! Go, my minions, go! Okay. Now, I shall block your worm with some acidic slime. Oh, well played, but he has got trample. It's like, it probably it might kill him before the damage goes through, though. I don't know, and I wouldn't risk... Well, I don't know. Yeah, let's try it and see. Oh yeah, you got f f no, it go away when uh, oh flying ah oh, flying bats no uh, I won't I won't waste it blocking the bird I will block it. oh the white knight has protection well damn okay so in this case whoops. oh no <laughs> my indecision has cost my life. I think you might have been able to walk away from that one post. Oh, minus six, so I think the trample damage still went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have good blockers. <gasps> Finally! <laughs> <laughs> by my own arrogance! etc. <laughs> etc. Go again? Let's go one again. What's What time is it? No, wait. What time is it here? It is about five o'clock for you, I think. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can keep going for about uh, an hour and a half at least. Oh, cool. So I, I would, I would like to keep going if. If that suits fine with you. Yep, that's perfect. Especially since uh, now you have won a match and I have two matches, so it sounds more like five out of uh, five. Best of, best of five. Yeah, best of five. Ready? It's Shroud. Creatures with Shroud can't be targeted by any spells or abilities. That's the word. <gasps> okay. Let's see now. I have. I'm going to refresh your stream in the hopes that it will catch back. Although, do I really want to be seeing your cards now? Might as well. <laughs> because um, uh, I, I still, yeah, okay. It seems like I kept. kept I'll just. I'm. I'm not really paying much attention to the stream anyway. I'm glancing over every now and then to look at my chat, but. Mm. No one's there, but it's all right. No. It's all good. Okay, uh, so I have got four swamp. I've got rats. Oh god! No, I've got bats. Rats and bats. Rats, bats, and rats. worms. Yeah, bats and worms. And uh, there's uh, and there's a uh, giant growth. But for now, I can just play land. So. Continue. So a good strategy in this case, if it were me, I'd probably try and get the uh, flyer out, and then once you know you've got a direct path to my life, 
hit it with the, the giant growth, and that will allow you to do an additional three damage. Mm. I'll keep that in mind, if I can remember. Just a little, a little bit of strategy casting, I think. I will attack you with my tree. <gasps> <laughs> I will sink your tree. <laughs> yes, this is a very good point, actually. I refute my previous attack. Or I, I return my previous attack. May your weapon be no sword forge. May your armor be no metal wrath. <laughs> I was reading from... The new card I drew. You did it with such vigor and <laughs> and what's the word? Depth. Yes. And continue. I'll just keep on uh, exploring some land. Continue. Exploring the swampy mercs. Mhm. Mm or the murky swamps. Oh, well, I did that wrong, but that's okay. Never mind. <laughs> it's not like it's going to be something that loses me the game, hopefully. It might be. We never know. <laughs> My turn. More Swampland. Yay. It's an adventure. That looks like a serious Swamp card, though. Like you're yeah, travelling through like, a... Uh, yeah, there's like trees, there's dusk, there's fog, everything... Everything your swamp could need. Yep. Continue. Prime real estate swamp available in Mississippi now. <laughs> Continue. Borders the plains of magic. Errant fire fireballs are a hazard. I'd make an excellent sales rep for houses in Swamplands based in Magic Realms. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I choose to say so myself. Mm. <laughs> if I may blow my own horn. Yeah. Okay, so I have gained some forest land as well. Don't don't try blowing your own horn. You you put your back out. <laughs> That's a clerk's two joke. I think okay. It's there's there's re when they're having the conversation in the car. And I think I shall hold for now. Continue. Continue. Boom! Land, glorious land. Bodies. Oh, Boris! Can Boris come out to play? <laughs> <laughs> two damage! Come on! We're going to do two damage with the sliver of vigilance. Hmm. Plus four to initiative! Yay! Indeed, fellow magic player. I shall dole out more land. <laughs> <clears throat> and what see now? No. No. Not yet, not yet. And continue. And continue. Hmm. I'm getting quite a lot of board control. I'm going to swing for six damage this turn. Nineteen. <laughs> and so I shall. Swing! Land! Do what you must. <laughs> I will. Uh, 
Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 because he's got summoner sickness. Get rid of pacifism. <laughs> you are not out of woods yet, companion. Oh, I know. Well, I barely have any woods. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's all swamp. Got flooded. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is my sarcophagus. It is getting wet. <laughs> very, very unpleasant <laughs> this time of year. Oh, I have to continue. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> I, t I always forget about that. Always. Yep. You can turn it off in the menu, but we turned them all on for being able to discuss. Yep. Ah, what treachery is this? <gasps> A second pacify! No! And a birdie! Yes! Looks like he has acquired the secrecy of airstrike! Mm. What sorcery is this? <laughs> I just need to kit him out with some napalm now and we'll be unstoppable! Curse you, white knight! <laughs> oh, six! If I hadn't pacified your bat, the turn it didn't suffer from summoner sickness, and I hadn't got a bird out, would have been an excellent time to play Giant Growth. You were bang on the tactic, mm -hmm. it was just the timing. Oh god! Not eight, eight rats! What are you doing? <laughs>
giant growth and this both. But yeah, then I'm glad I played this one first. Okay. No, if I could get rid of that pacifier. I have to sever the mind blocker. Ooh, again. Thinking in terms. Yeah, okay, let the timer go. I shall use the rats while they are. Let's see. Let's see. Which way would it be better to use up? Yeah, I'm gonna go bold because I'm a bit of an underdog here, so just use it while I have it. If I lose my sliver, I lose vigilance. If I lose my flying card, I lose my 2-2 two -two with flying. And <laughs> You're gonna lose something. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is true. Luckily, it didn't have trample, though. Thankfully. <laughs> Trampling rats. Yeah. I don't, is this? don't think I could have handled that. Ooh. Yes. And yes. Well, fuck. Mm-hmm. And six is this game. GG. Oh, when he attacks, he gets plus one, plus one. That's nice to know. If I could shake your hand, I would, good friend. That was a valiant battle. <laughs> I need to take a bathroom break, but you are more than welcome to use this time to tinker with your deck and... Uh, uh -huh. No, I think I'm gonna keep this deck because uh, if I if I use the same uh, variations over and over, then I will I think I will learn better. And I think we're tied right now, so the next match is the decider. Oh really? Yes. I will okay. be right back. I need to use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And I will see you in a second. Yep. Good luck in there. Ah, uh, thank you. I am back. Hello to you. And I have equipped myself with a tactical carrot. Ooh. Crunchy, crunchy. Oh, such a good time. Tactical carrot. Right, um... I'm gonna play these planes and click continue. And I, I am, I am going to also open the box and click continue again. Honestly, now, please, game. Let's do this. 
Slivers are already down. You can't stop the power. You can't stop the signal. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Fox have stopped the signal. There is no there is no which way to cut it. Fox have stopped the signal. The message has lost all meaning. Oh, I see. Answering now, are we? <laughs> Slivers of her own. I see how it is. We're from the same hive, you and I! How can you betray me like this? <laughs> Continue. Oh. Continue. <laughs> bum, ba dum, bum, ba dum, bum, ba dum, bum, ba dum. Do do do, do do do. Yeah. Egg is back. Egg is back. Yeah, egg is back. Is there a way to crush the egg without bringing the bird out? Like burning it or something? Uh, I think your murder card will probably work. Oh, no. When rock, when egg rock dies, um, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Again, sorry for speaking with my mouth full, but my idea might go away. Again, thinking in terms of um, chaos cards. Mm -hmm. What might be something that has a similar ability? Like, if you destroy it, it brings out something else. Like maybe if it destroy a scout vessel, it will spit out uh, some shuttles. Uh, I like this idea a lot. I think there's a lot there we can work with. Um, the problem is there's not much in the way of ship versus ship combat anymore. Mm -hmm. Like we cut that section of the game to focus more on the characters. Mm -hmm. Or it might be a character ability even. Uh, skip attack. It might be a character ability that uh, someone gives shuttle control to your ship. Ship. So like, uh, well, for for the argument's sake, let's just imagine that there is a combat haze or something. That uh, if uh, if if there is a combat and uh, and that given uh, ship is targeted and some sort of unit is destroyed, then a certain character's uh, ability would add uh, emergency, emergency uh, shuttle uh, system to it, so that if you destroy the ship, you you would would get like a little swarm of uh, shuttles. Escape pods. Well, escape pods only won't do because uh, you would have something that uh, poses a threat. Yeah. You need you need to be able to fight back. Kamikaze ports, kamikaze drones, <laughs> or something like this. Something, uh, something that's uh, that's costly that only activates if destroyed. But it would be, yeah, just carry on. When it would be. I didn't want to attack anyway. Okay. When the Alexis. When the captain of the Alexis Mark III is destroyed, add four Guardian tokens to the battlefield and remove Alexis from play. That sort of thing. Putting it in terms I can sort of <laughs> grapple with. The, sec the, secret, the secret shuttle bay like, that op opens only when uh, the main hull is breached. Yeah. That's, I like this idea. I think we can go, go somewhere with this. <laughs> Onward! I shall absorb this damage. <laughs> Honorably. My crew. Um. Yeah. 
And you'll notice on all the cards, it's um, it's not just credits added, it's resources added. So that when it comes to, and I don't want to give too many spoilers away, but when it comes to later on, on uh, when certain invasions happen, though that that group uses maybe a different resource to to the main group, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I don't. So their unit costs and everything are slightly varied, so you can get away from the class one, class two. You can't form a ship with a class one or class two. Oh, like you can't form a fleet. Yeah, sorry, I, I totally forgot about the spoiler aspect. I just kept. Oh no, no, no! Board. It's all good. I don't think there are. We haven't really done any spoilers. And anybody, anybody who's paying attention to the Chaos Nova stuff will either probably already know or have access to the mm. forum, or hopefully yeah, will get interested by it and wonder what the fuck are they talking about, and then travel <laughs> over to the forum True. and be amazed by our incredible sense of creation. Crunch. <laughs> Planes. Um, they're not really one I need right now. I need I need forests. I'd I'd really like a forest. Can I have a forest, please? Round two. Fight. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky is my middle name. <laughs> my other middle name. <laughs> the sneaky one. <laughs> Estonia, by my last check. You said, where was I? I said, Estonia, <laughs> by my last check. But yeah, the whole reason that they use a different resource is so that you can... So their ships are of a different classification, because obviously you won't get their ships in, like, frigate and cruiser and things like that. So it negates the... You can't build a, a ship crew of... Le- level 1 and 2 or class 1 and 2 ships. So that's how that works. That gets around that. Oh, really? With the slime. Yeah. I'm not sure I approve. <laughs> You're not supposed to. <laughs> we are opponents in this game. Ah, yes. While, while I skip the attack, I will also, uh, I, I will let the timer run out and I will introduce another idea that might or might not work for the Chaos cards, but what if uh, there was a play mode where two uh, players have to uh, pull resources from uh, one and the same deck? Ooh. Like, it's a mixed resource deck, mixed creatures and so on. You have, you have ships, you have captains, you have crew. Mm-hmm. Some sort. Uh, let's see. You have some beginner crew, and let's say they are bound to a certain planet, or they are bound to uh, uh, bound to a space station. So they both have to uh, equip their uh, their ship from what they can draw from their environment, like the uh, stranded mode. Ooh. Okay, I like that. I like this a lot. This, uh, this is definitely going in the notes later on, <laughs> because I think that's a viable game type. Definitely, it's it sort of comes under the lines, the same sort of lines as teams grouping up to fight the Leviathan. But mm-hmm. instead of instead of it being oh you've already got your ship and mm-hmm. you've already got X amount of crew etc etc, it's literally you have got to scrape together to make make it possible to go and do a job or go and fight an enemy or so say like x crew have been stranded on x location 
after getting into a fight with someone and their job is to now get their ship back. But in order to do that, they've got to chase him down, obviously. So they'd need to find a way to pull resources and things like that. Maybe even team up with other teams and... Because they might be reluctant at first. And, and meanwhile, meanwhile, there's my point was there's competing team in the same, uh, ah. in the same environment. So basically, it's PvP, where you are uh, not only are you uh, fighting each other, your resources come from the same pool. Like uh, you have to share the deck. You have you have your everyone's buying from the same stock. Yep. Yep, mm -hmm. like you have your starting hand, uh, what you've got, and then, uh, then there's one deck from which both have to draw. I like the I like the idea of us doing a collector's edition where the additional game type cards are sort of added. So, uh -huh. so you get like bonus location cards and things like that. Just because m some people are just going to want to play the PvP side of things, and I can't mm -hmm. fault them for that. People are just—that's cool. I can I can totally get that. Sometimes, like tabletop games to me, they're fun every once in a while, but I find them like they take a lot of setting up and things like that, which is another reason why mm -hmm. we want to keep chaos cards sort of simple. But there are going to be people who just want to buy the sort of basic decks and play a couple of games. And maybe they get into it and maybe they start customising decks and things like that. That would be cool. That card looks evil. Grieve Titan. <gasps> what was... Whoa! I didn't realise. Whenever Grave Titan enters the battlefield or attack, put two, two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. And he's got Death Touch. Pretty mean card. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even realise he would put some zombies out. I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, um, we're going to sell the decks. So you get a 2v2, like a 1v1 deck set with some additional mm -hmm. cards thrown in so you can customise your decks. And then there'll be like a collector, there'll be another set, which will be the one versus one, and there'll be like the other two ships from the set. And then on top of that, we'll have the boosters and all that kind of thing. And then on top of that, there'll be the collector's edition, which is basically the tabletop style game. So, and that's the one that contains all the single player modes and uh, multiplayer and versus Leviathan and things like that. Right, I need to work up some black defense, so I'm going to do that. And I need to reclaim some board control here, so I'm going to do that as well. And I'm going to click continue. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, you got rid of my sliver! I wasn't even paying attention. I was too busy talking about chaos cards. God damn it. Yep, I sacrificed my tracker to get rid of your sliver. Hmm. I think you only really needed to block with the 6-6. Six, six. Oh, I don't know how that death touch thing works. Like, my character is going to die regardless of what happens, but I don't know if the second zombie block was necessary. I could I could be wrong. Ah. <laughs> Kill him! Smite him down! Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no. 
equipment or land to destroy. Let's see now. I shall destroy some planes. Hmm. And I shall use this occasion and steal some resource for, from you. Om nom 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 nom. Tasty blood. <laughs> This really is the death match, isn't it? It really is. I am playing oh, all out. Know. And if you if you beat me now, then there is honestly nothing more I can teach you. If you best me three or five, then I am giving it my all here. Yeah, except I don't know, like, half the cards or anything. I think you've got enough of a grasp on how to kick someone's ass to wing it. <laughs> Just read the cards, you'll be sweet. Continue. You have to attack. Well, as in, attack happens now. Let's oh. See. Huh. The student has bested the teacher. <laughs> Right. Time for a good old fresh and hold down. <laughs> Wait, what did this do? What's this? Uh, long grow older. Thanks, Prove. Uh -huh. That's my uh, alarm clock of doom. <laughs> In few hours, a work day shall commence. Oh no, not a work day. <laughs> Hopefully, it will end as soon as it started. Uh, a Although good work I'm, day. Yeah, I'm usually very clueless uh, uh, in Monday, so it, it's never pleasant. <laughs> mm. Okay, I shall play some land. And we shall call it this land. Yes, and let's see. What can I do to hmm. put put the hurt locker on me is I think the correct term. Let's see now. If I stole out too much then uh, you will gain more shit. So I should attack. No, and with all my force, <laughs> onward. Where's bloody Judgment Day when you need it? That's a white card that eliminates all creatures on the board. <clears throat> and he added zombies. Oh yeah, that's what it means. When you attack, then you add zombies. Okay. <laughs> I'm sort of clutching at straws here. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had someone stand by myself. <laughs> ah, I see. And just for a good measure. Whoa! Still look pretty evil, though. Oh, it's gonna hurt next turn. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> and my only, my only saving grace is the fact that I get a bird out of it. That's the only thing I'm holding on to here. I think you'd do quite well with a black deck, to be honest with you. I think you'd, uh, just because of all the side effects and things like that. Oh, extra zombies! Excellent! Well, I, I will. I'll take them. <laughs> well, if you insist, why not? Attack! Attack, you must attack! This with zombie? Oh. This has protection. It does. Shall destroy. No, wait, no, I didn't want to do this. So I wanted to do this. Oh, it's tapped. Oh, fuck. Let's see. 
let's see now. Eight. I shall take ten damage for myself. Hmm. And keep my fleet intact. Well, I get a bird next turn. <laughs> Oh my god, you've got fatal next turn if I don't block your strongest out. Oh, sorry, my bad. People watching this on YouTube are just going to be like, Fucking click continue! Oh my god, what is wrong with you? I oh know, I'm sorry. Please stop shouting. Attack with all! Okay, I haven't got any fogs to fall back on now. Oh. Where did my fog? Okay, I was gonna say, where did my zombies go? Eggness! Yes. Holy shit, it's down to the wire. Five, seven, four, eight, ten, three, three is thirteen. Oh my god. I might be able to claw a victory here. God, have I won? I might have won. Please. You're going to have to seriously chump block this, but... Oh, come on. Four, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five. Oh, you just survive. Oh, no, I forgot. She had fog. <laughs> she had fog. Oh, my God. No. Oh my god! <laughs> it has all come down to this. <laughs> Good game! Good game! Good game! <laughs> my turn! <laughs> I shall play this land. <laughs> and continue. Oh my god, I so... Attack with all my might, onwards my fleet! One Attack. might say, I forgot. Yeah, see? See what I did there? Because fog and forget and... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I totally told you that I had the fog, didn't I? You did, and I totally forgot. Uh-huh. And I totally haven't got the life to deal with that much damage. Minus nine. Congratulations! The student has bested the teacher. Nice work. Oh, oh let me just wait to see the uh, uh, see the animations play out. The uh, the salt falling into the wound, as it were. Yeah, all the splat salt. <laughs> As you see, I do not hesitate uh, to tap into some dark parts. Mm. Not too much though, but just, just enough. Not too much, with three plus zombies on the field. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't, I dabble. <laughs> let's, let's just say I dabble. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the shame. This and uh, and uh, and why I was basically losing there too. 
I am never going to be able to show my face at a guild hall ever again. Or a Friday Night Magic. The shame will live with me forever. Congratulations, <laughs> you are victorious. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank my family. <laughs> <laughs> Just consider this. I know no one. I know no guilt. Uh, no, it's all right. It's just, it was, I was so just you kidding. Can, you can just go and lie about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I was just kidding. Yes. But yes, okay. that was uh, very enjoyable. Yes. And for those of you watching at home, if there were any, epic. Now, how do I stop the stream? <laughs> how do I okay. stop the signal? signal? <laughs> Let Fox buy all the rights to your program and then do nothing to stop. Oh, sorry, you were talking about OBS. Okay, right. Um, yeah, uh, end streaming. Okay, love you guys lots. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye bye. Okay, and then just click stop streaming. And then you yeah. might have to click stop recording as well. Hmm? I dropped zero frames. Excellent. Today Stream is a good day. Profile, output unfinished. Closing. Ah, oh, it, it's still.